friends welcome to our bonsai lovers uh, our monthly workshop program today we are working on the bottle bread golden bottle plus honey metal it is called as and it is called as also linari polia so there are two plants together we are separating them and we are working on This grows from the branches also. This plant can be grown from the branches also. We are placing it in the plastic cover. The weather, weather is very dry now, so there may be drying of the roots, so the plant can take shocks. So that's why we are covering the root line. deciduous plant deciduous plants are the one they if you do uh, shari they can be damaged with decomposition of the wood will be there so for this one that's why we are not doing the shari in shari only you can do on the evergreen plants this shari undergreen if you are doing on the trunk line it is called as a shari if you are removing the bark of the trunk line that is called as a shari if you are doing on the branches it will be called as the chain. Surrender Russia wants to join. Surrender Russia. Can you sit and admit to those who are joining? Shari can be done in the evergreen plant. 
and for the on deciduous plant we can do only euro that is euro is the one If it is a banyan tree, sometimes we will see in the forest there will be a cave like thing that is called as euro. That is called as euro. That is possible on our uh, deciduous plants. Shari and gin is not possible on the deciduous plant. Only shari and gin is possible on the evergreen plants like pine, casuarina and the cassia. So those plants are good for making into a shari or the gin. So first what we are doing, we are giving a, making a mark on the trunk line. This is the main uh, branch here, only one branch is there. So we have to take care of this branch. We can tie this branch here before wiring. Then we, after that we will start wiring. But this is a one view of this plant. If you turn like this, it will be the, it will be like this side. I feel this is the better side when we are viewing from the Friend, then we can keep it as a front side and the plant is coming from that side. Actually this plant is tall like this straight plant. Mm -hmm. So we are given a shape like this. So we are bending the one. Mm -hmm. So now we are giving make marking this one and we will remove some of the bark over here. You need this straight? No. So with a jaw, this is the live portion of the plant. This is a live, uh, completely it is now uh, all uh, post trunk line is live. So we are removing some of the bark here. Like this. We have to remove the bark here. This is the portion we are removing it now and this will be each having the bark, entire bark will be there on the plant. This is the ginning tool, so we we'll have to remove the bark. You want to try? On the belly? Yes, we have to. So first we have to remove this part. Complete 
Also, that it will be on the uh, Gmail. If it is stops in between, just let me know. Then I can uh, change it to Gmail. I'll share that one also. So once it stops, I'll go to that one. It is not. Sometimes it is not allowed more than 45 minutes. So that time we will change it over to the Gmail. Mm -hmm. So, removing the 
this one. Thank you. 
We can use cigarette, cigarette lighter also or gas lighter for the Gas light is also good thing. Next time we'll try that. So, जो ऊपर के लायर हल्का छोटा छोटा होगा वो सब burn कर जाएगा। हाँ, वो burn हो जाएगा। Then it will be looks very clean and neat and clean. Last time also we had done this thing on that. Whatever. We did it on the boxes. के ऊपर के boxes के ऊपर किया था। Driftwood के ऊपर। हाँ, driftwood। आ, driftwood के ऊपर किया था। बक्सेस के ऊपर भी किया था। So this is only dead dead wood. Yeah, that is the dead wood. Only when it's here under the asset, because of the branch. Branch. So even if the wood is dead, it takes all the nutrients from the roots. How come it yeah. takes? Yeah. Now, we are applying uh, this is solution. I told you, know, this is the lime sulfur solution. We are applying this solution now. Lime sulfur. Lime sulfur. Lime sulfur. What are the ratio of the lime? Oh, one is two. Four. The eight, one is the, this one, you have to dilute. Someone, someone is asking. We can switch on the fan now. Right. So, I'm impressed that I can do or do you want me to do this or what? Great. It is exposed, you know. This is fresh. That's why so we are protecting with the lime sulfur. Can we use varnish? Varnish. This is a sulfur solution. Varnish, no, that is having some chemical. This sulfur is different and varnish is different. This sulfur, no, it is a any time when you are exposing anything, but it is a gives protection to the any. This one food, but food also. Um, it is having the, the activity of uh, protecting anything. So what are you using acid? Acid, no, it burns. You already burn. No, no, that is entering, it enters into the plant. No? <coughs> it is only superficial we are using. So does this change the color of the plant? If you want, ah, uh, that is good, good question. If you want to use some, some, if you want to 
give a little bit color we can use any color and show you that color also brown color fabric colors are uh, this one water colors are good for this uh, coloring as a color as a coloring agent we have to use only one drop Best of the water colors. So we are protecting the skin of the plant with ginning solution. It is called as also a ginning solution. One day process, you have to do it slowly day by now. We are doing some after one month, we'll do some more ginning on the main trunk line and uh, slowly we'll do expose the trunk. Now, this is the curve I want to expose. This, this one I'll do it after one month. Once the plant uh, relieve of hot press, then I can do it again. Uh, sometimes white color is also used. White color is also used, yeah. While here, you can give a dark color. Yeah, slowly you can do that one. Now, this is the one. Now we are going to wire the plant. Now, now our main idea is of this one is the this is the one. This is the trunk line and this is on the back side. So we are going to move the first wheel wire these branches and move them to this side. We are making it stable now. Now we made this table so that we put the bed and it can't move now so we can wire the branches. Slowly we are moving the branches this side. So this is first. Now this branch is there, this is on the back side. So we are tying this branch. This is only on the only thin trunk uh, uh, branch is there. 
so when we are moving entirely this side there will be a damage to the branch so that's why we are putting some scar on the branches and moving this side to make it more flexible yeah, more conical shape cut We are putting a scar over here with a blade. <coughs> and one more scar here. bend them this side
have taken 2.5 mm wire. This is the 2.5 mm wire we are using for this branch. Usually we will take one third or one fourth of the branch. While wearing more, you have to, if you are bending the branch in the clockwise direction, you have to take the wiring also in the clockwise direction and the distance between the two uh, uh, wirings, that is between the two wirings, you should be same and the, the angle can be from 45 degrees to 60 degrees depending on the branch thickness. These are the main things we have to keep it in my mind while wiring. And the, all the branches. Then this up to this area will do it. Then we can wire it. also this is not enough for this uh, uh, to bend this branch this uh, wire, wiring is not enough to bend this branch so we have to do double wiring now second wiring should be along with the same lines of the first wiring All these secondary branches should be free from the wiring, they should not come underneath the wiring. When we are wiring, you no, know, take care of the branch that is which is in the dark color, that brown color one that can be wired. If it is in the green color, that it will be very delicate and don't wire that type of branches. Leave it like that, after some time you can wire them. Now we have to move this step. 
I'm moving in the clockwise direction now. Uh, clockwise direction now. So I write the branch in the clockwise direction. That is very important. Otherwise, the threading will be it, it will be loose. And if you are doing in the uh, anti-clockwise way, there will be a uh, gap between the wires and the main trunk uh, branches. We are removing one of the, some of the thin branches here. This is what the, this is the um, brown water fish. Golden water fish. Golden, golden water fish. Honey meat is the gold fish. So golden may or fish different colors they come from Golden may or flowers may be stuck on here. Flowers may be on the leaves. This plant is like this and we are turning into a different style. So this is our today's uh, uh, bottle press, golden bottle press styling and the shari and wiring. And after this, now we are going to see the uh, how to make, utilize our uh, earthen parts into bonsai. It is all, okay. We'll do a time is there now. Okay. 
So we are going to show you that one also. Now we will give a big hand to uh, Priyanka, Milindanda, uh, Shali for attending, helping me and showing you the how to boil and uh, Shali. What to do for Shali and everything. Big clap for Shali once. First time I'm doing this. For all of you, we are watching the uh, workshop. Thank you. Thank you.